Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so that's the end of the test, obviously. How do you think that went? Really badly, really badly, really badly. Hey guys, just before we get started with the video, I'm going to quickly explain about how the faults work. Firstly, we have normal driving faults. So these are driving faults, which obviously you should try and avoid. But if you do do it, you wouldn't fail your driving test for it unless you keep continuously doing the same driving fault again and again. When Naomi does one of these faults, I'll explain what happened and you'll see orange colored text. Any serious driving faults will be in red colored text and making just one serious fault on your driving test would result in a fail. I'll also mention some of the good things that Naomi is doing and for this you'll see green coloured text. Also don't forget to subscribe, I'd like to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you who has already done so. If any of you are interested in doing a mock test for our YouTube channel then you can message us on Instagram or Snapchat at DGN Driving. We're based in Wolverhampton so the mock tests are done in and around the Wolverhampton area. But we do have driving instructors who cover other areas for driving lessons. To find out if we do cover your area for driving lessons, please visit our website www.dgndriving.co.uk Okay right, so here we have Naomi and we've got her boyfriend sitting at the back, Dan. And so Naomi's come here for a mock test. So tell us a bit about your driving, your driving experience, how many lessons, have you got a test booked? I've got a test booked in March. So about a month away? Yeah, okay. I've had a lesson more or less every week since the end of October. Okay. Um, but I'd done lessons before that, but then I didn't stick to them because I didn't like it. Okay, so um, regular lessons for October, maybe December, about three months, yeah? Yeah, okay. um, but I've also got my own car, so I've been going out at least once a week in that as well. Okay. So that's added up cool. to it. I'll just add that this is Naomi's car. Yeah. yeah, we've got no pedals here, so no. hopefully you're 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 going to be safe here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, is there anything in particular you think you need to work on? Roundabouts. Roundabouts, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do a test route with um, all the roundabouts. We'll see how you get on. Yeah. Like you know, you've seen the videos before, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. So I'm not going to interrupt. Okay. Treat like a test, and um, obviously, in the video you can watch back and everything will be edited so you can just see your full share. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Right, uh, show me, tell me questions. You've been through those? Yeah, not yeah. not a lot, but I have been through them. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question then, yeah? Okay. okay. So, could you explain how you, how you would check that your power assisted steering would be working correctly? Um, you turn your engine on, I think, and then you move your steering wheel and it should be smooth and not stiff. If it doesn't move smoothly and stiffly, then there's something wrong with it, I think. Uh, smoothly and stiffly, you said? If it, it, it should move kind of easily. There should be See, a lot of resistance. Do. Good, good, that'll do. Okay. All right, so when you're ready, if you could uh, move off, please. Okay. And so we're going to start <coughs> off by following the sat-nav. Okay. When turning left, Naomi does her observations really well, so the view is quite restricted here. So watch how Naomi leans forward and checks the right and left thoroughly. This is exactly what you should do when the view isn't the best. You should make sure it's clear before you decide to go. Turn 
right. At this right turn, Naomi steers too much to the right, therefore she gets quite close to the central reservation when she enters the new road. Here you will see the road narrowing, so we're driving in the right hand lane and it's important to check your left mirror just to make sure that nobody's overtaking and you'll see that Naomi does this well. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A4039, Coesley Road. When coming up to this roundabout, Naomi accidentally presses the gas pedal instead of the brake. But once she's entered the roundabout, she does okay. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. After turning left, I don't think Naomi realises that there's a slip lane joining onto the dual carriageway. She realises a little bit late, therefore her observations, her signal and her steering as well, you'll see she gets a bit close to the kerb, but she does deal with it all herself, so it wouldn't be a serious driving fault, just a normal driving fault. At this roundabout, Naomi does really well. When going straight ahead, she sticks well to the left hand lane and her mirrors and signal are at the correct time. the approach to this roundabout Naomi signals left which she doesn't really have to do because we're going straight ahead but it's no big deal because there's no exit on the left so it wouldn't really confuse other road users. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Again, at this roundabout, Naomi keeps her position well and her observations are good. But she does select gear 2 slightly too early. She should have slowed the car down a bit more before selecting gear 2. You'll notice that when she does get gear 2 and brings the clutch up, how the car slows down with engine braking. Doing this will slow the car down, but the correct way to slow the car down is by using the brake pedal as this gives vehicles behind a warning that you are slowing down because the brake lights come on. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, then keep right.
miles. Keep right. When changing lane here, Naomi's observations are good. But when she is doing these observations, she slows the car down, which she doesn't really need to do. When you're trying to get into the right hand lane on a dual carriageway, if you slow down too much, it's going to get more difficult to find a suitable gap. So always try and maintain the speed unless your turning's coming up quite close. Keep right. Soon, I'm going to ask Naomi to stop following the sat nav. Okay, so we're not going to follow the sat nav anymore, yeah? At the moment, there is only one lane that Naomi can drive in, but soon this becomes two lanes. And a lot of people make the mistake of staying in the right hand lane. The right hand lane should only be used for overtaking or turning right. But Naomi does well. She comes back over to the left hand lane, which is a normal driving lane. At this roundabout, Naomi's right signal is too late. This should have been on earlier on the approach, but she puts it on just as she enters the roundabout. When changing lanes at a roundabout, you should always check your mirrors first and then signal. You'll notice that Naomi is putting a signal on first and then she's checking her mirrors. When stopping behind the bus, Naomi keeps a good distance. Remember with larger vehicles like buses and lorries, always keep that extra space. When turning right at lights, always remember to look out for oncoming cars and Naomi does this right in really well. The bus is going to stop at a bus stop now and what I see a lot of people doing is stopping directly behind the bus. If there's enough space to manoeuvre around the bus safely then you should always try and overtake just like Naomi did here. In this situation if Naomi had stopped behind the bus then it would have been a serious driving fault but again Naomi does really well. We 
retaining right at this roundabout so Naomi should put a right signal on which she does do but then for some reason as she's about to enter the roundabout she cancels the right signal she should have just left here on second. yeah right second When joining this dual carriageway, Naomi goes into the right hand lane. Luckily she doesn't stay in the right hand lane too long, she does come over to the left hand lane, so this would be just a normal driving fault and not a serious fault. When approaching this roundabout, just like she did earlier, Naomi selects gear 2 a bit too soon. She should have slowed the car down a bit more using the brake and then selected gear 2. When exiting the roundabout, Naomi should have checked her mirrors first and then indicated, but she did it the other way around. Here we're still following signs to Dudley, which will be straight ahead third exit. Naomi does really well to notice the road markings and use the middle lane. At the next roundabout, Dudley is straight ahead, third exit. If you look at the vehicle in front, it should be positioned in the centre of the lane, but it's positioned too much to the right, and Naomi does exactly the same. So this would be a driving fault for normal driving position. When she enters the roundabout she keeps a good position but towards the end when she's coming off the roundabout she steers slightly over to the right. Naomi approaches and enters this roundabout absolutely fine, but when exiting the roundabout, her mirrors are slightly late. On this dual carriageway the speed is 50 miles an hour and the vehicle in front is doing just above 30 miles an hour. So Naomi decides to overtake the vehicle which isn't a bad decision because if somebody is driving slow then it's fine to overtake them. But when she does go into the right hand lane to overtake she doesn't have enough speed 
and then there's a roundabout coming up so Naomi decides to come back to the left lane so this would be a driving fault for her planning and awareness Next Naomi does this roundabout well. This right turn is quite tricky because it's on a bend so it's important to check what's coming around the bend before you decide to take this right turn. A lot of people start to steer too early and don't really check for what's coming around the bend but Naomi does this really well. She keeps a very good position and excellent observations. When stopping and moving off, Naomi does everything well. The only thing I would say is that she goes for a handbrake a bit too soon. Always wait for your vehicle to fully stop before pulling up the handbrake. And we will find you ready please. This is where I'm going to ask Naomi to carry out an emergency stop. She does tell me that she's never done it before, but I still ask her to give it a go. Okay, we're going to carry out the emergency stop, surely. Yeah, but I forgot to put When stopping the car, Naomi does well. Her reaction is good and she stops the car quickly. But when she moves off, that's when the serious fault happens. When moving off after an emergency stop, you should check all around including both blind spots because your car is in the normal driving position. But Naomi doesn't check both blind spots, she only checks the right one. So this would be a serious fault for her observations after the emergency stop. Stop! And we go for you ready? Naomi deals with this roundabout well, but after the roundabout I've asked her to turn right and when she does go into the right hand lane, she doesn't do any mirrors or signal, so this would be a serious driving fault. Turn right. This right in at the traffic lights is on an uphill junction and it's also a very busy junction. Naomi gets a good position and chooses a safe gap. She does it really well. As you can see this is a really narrow road with parked cars on our side of the road so Naomi should be giving way to any oncoming vehicles. When she stops here to give way to an oncoming vehicle she rolls back a little bit. There's no one behind us and she gets out of the situation herself so this would just be a driving fault, nothing serious. 
This time when she gives away, she gets really close to this black vehicle, so that'll be a driving fault for clearance. Naomi notices the stop sign and does fully stop at the line. I have seen many people fail their driving test for not stopping at a stop sign. What happens is that they think they've stopped but they've actually just edged out slowly and they have checked to see if it's safe but they didn't fully stop the car. So remember you do have to fully stop at a stop sign. Here we have a meeting situation with an oncoming bus and Naomi stops in a good position to give way to the bus but when she stops she forgets to select gear 1 therefore the car stalls. This time there is a vehicle behind us so if Naomi takes too long to move off this could become a serious fault. But you'll see Naomi's reaction is quite good. She even puts a signal on to warn the car behind us we are about to move off. So this would be a driving fault. But if Naomi's reaction was too slow, then it could have been a serious fault. When we're turning left at these lights, the lights change to red, so obviously Naomi stops. But when she does stop, a bit of our car is in the cycle lane, so this would be a driving fault for planning and awareness. Once we turn left here, we're on a dual carriageway and the speed limit is 40 miles an hour. But Naomi doesn't go over 30 miles an hour because she thinks the speed limit is 30. She actually does say that 30 seems too slow. So that just confirms she didn't see the signs of the new speed limit. Naomi changes the lane really well here and she also deals with the right turn at the traffic lights really well. Here I'll be asking Naomi to carry out the manoeuvre which is parking on the right hand side of the road, reversing back and then moving off again. When it's safe to do so, if you can park up on the right hand side of the road please. Yep. When she pulls up on the right, she does actually stop opposite a junction which isn't really a safe place to stop at. And if you could uh, reverse oh. back two cartons, please. Yeah. And when reversing, you should obviously stop for the oncoming cars, which Naomi does fine. You shouldn't move when there's oncoming cars because you're on their side of the road. But you don't really have to stop for the vehicles that are coming from behind because they're in the left hand lane whereas you've stopped in the right hand lane so you're not really going to affect them. So it did take us a bit of time to complete this manoeuvre.
pretty sure if you actually lied. I'm pretty sure you can't do it when there's any cars moving outside the streets. <laughs> I'd love to help you, but it's a lot of business. <laughs> Okay, that'll do, and uh, move off when you're ready, please. When moving off here, it's important to check your left blind spot just before you move, and Naomi does this well. She does forget to put her handbrake down, but does realize as soon as she moves off, so no big deal. Now this is our last turn which turns towards the test centre and there is a serious driving fault here now, right at the end. I did say earlier that Naomi's observations at these junctions have been brilliant where she checks really thoroughly but here when she's turning right there are hardly any observations to the left and she's in gear 2 and she rushes it. This would be a serious fault for her observations here. Okay, so that's the end of the test obviously. How do you think that went? Really badly. Really bad? Yeah. What was really bad? Uh, when I was going off that slip road, I looked too far that way and I had to steer, correct my steering. I think I was in the right lane too long at least twice. Uh, I stalled. So let's talk about the first one first, she said the slip road, yeah? Was that the one near the start you were saying? Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, so what happened there, did you say? I was turning to look over my right shoulder to make sure there were no cars coming out. I think I looked for like a second too long and then I had to quickly see her. Yeah, you steady was heading towards the curb, yeah? yeah. Okay, but did I have to come in and no. grab it anyway? Obviously if it had been probably two or three seconds more, you would have ended up on the curb. Yeah. But did we? No. Did we touch the curb? No. So would that be something serious? I don't know. <laughs> no. You could start your observation. I think... Did you realise it was a slip road? Yeah, enjoying? that's why I was trying to like look as I was going down. I thought I'll have a look, and then I think I looked like a second longer than yeah, I should have. Yeah, it just lo looked to me as if you realised a little bit late here. Yeah, but yeah. in the end, it was it was okay. You oh. did do your checks. Yeah, you didn't hit the curve. You kept control. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it would have been a steering fault there, but nothing serious. Okay. What else were you saying? You said you um, stayed in the. I think I stayed in the right lane too long twice. <laughs> yeah. I think I was in the wrong lane for a roundabout. For a roundabout? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, let's talk about what you said, going to the right, uh, staying in the right-hand lane mm. a couple of times, yeah? Um, one occasion was where you were driving behind, do you remember when you were driving behind that... Uh, car that was doing 30. Yeah, well, they're, they're probably doing a bit more than 30, and yeah. then you went into the right-hand lane. What was the reason? I was trying to get past him so I could get to the speed limit, because okay. I was only doing 30, and I thought it would be a fault for driving good. too slow. Okay, that was good that you were trying to like you worked at the car was too slow mm. and then you wanted to overtake but did you have enough speed to overtake i don't think i did no because yeah. it was on the start of a hill yeah did we overtake him i think i did him anyway. no didn't i no <laughs> okay ended no. up pulling back in behind him yeah okay yeah. <laughs> so but there it wasn't for a long time was it no. yeah if it was for 
uh, maybe another meter so yeah it could have been something serious there was a car behind us a golf behind us a self one which we probably held up just for a couple of seconds mm -hmm. it wasn't coming that fast yeah mm -hmm. okay but yeah, you were in that lane a bit longer then yeah so before you decide to overtake think What's the road like ahead? Yeah. Like you well, said, also I shouldn't have because it was going up to a hill. Yeah. My instructor always says when you're going up to a hill, take your speed off a bit because you don't know what's going to be on the side yeah. of the hump. Whoever your instructor is, he's done good. Yeah. You're driving overall. It's for your test being a month away. Yeah. You can easily get ready to pass your driving test. Yeah. Okay. Um. Anything else? Um. I think I was maybe going into roundabouts too quick, and I think I got my gear stuck twice. Round about too quick. Yeah. I, said, I thought your approach was really good. Because I'm used because I usually slow down quicker. So I'm kind of trying to be like, you don't need to slow down yet. Slow down when you can see the start of the corner or something like that, and then put your clutch in. Go up to second if you need to go. You do. If you don't, you can just put your gap, your brake back down and go into one. Okay. So I'm usually really hesitant on roundabouts because they scare me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm well, usually like that one's going to come round and he's not indicating who's going to come round. Do we miss any gaps today? Uh, I don't think so. I was no. trying to look for something that I saw yesterday and I'm looking for the direction the wheels are going in. Yeah. So if the wheels are going that way then I don't need to stop yeah. because they're going that way but if they're curved then I do Excellent, need to. excellent knowledge there. Yeah. So you weren't hesitant at roundabouts, you didn't um, get there too fast like you say, the speed was good on approach. Yeah. One thing I would say is sometimes when you're when you're slowing down on a dual carriage edge take a turn or a roundabout, yeah, mm. you get your gear uh, a bit early. too soon, yeah, yeah, and using engine braking, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what should we do to slow the car down first? Put a bit more brake, yeah, brake a bit, get the correct speed, then get the gear to match the mm -hmm. speed, yeah. So, we normally use this phrase uh, where we say brake too slow, gears to go, yeah, yeah. So, try and remember that you just rush it with your gear. I feel again, nothing dangerous about it, but again, you you realize that as well, yeah. You're really good at assessing your own, own driving, so but they were. Uh, Couple of serious faults. Okay. Yeah. Um, some tricky situations. The route wasn't easy. Any idea where they were? Uh, I think one was up that last hill when there were cars coming down there to try and get in, and I think I should have stopped before the car that was on that side because it didn't give me enough room to get through. Uh, they did get through. I was okay. You dealt with that quite quite well. There was a bit of a rollback on that mm. hill, but was it, there was no one behind us that you affected. Okay. You dealt with it okay. So they were, they were driving faults, mm -hmm. but it wasn't serious. Any idea where the serious faults were? I haven't got a clue. Dan, any idea? Uh, there was the island where she almost pulled out in front of a car. Mm. Um, she's almost, did she though? Well, she didn't, no, but exactly. okay, fair so, enough. Yeah, so that wasn't serious. Um, there was where she, you know, where the, the lane where all of the traffic, all of the cars were parked on the left hand side. Yeah. Um, her instructor tells her she doesn't need to indicate to pull out there, but I always say that you do. What's that when you're overtaking parked cars? Yeah. No, you don't have to. You don't have yeah, to. No. It depends on the situation. So, if there's a parked vehicle, if you check your mirrors and you're in a good position, mm -hmm. yeah, it's quite clear. Your position is a form of signal, so it's yeah. quite clear where you're going. If okay. your position's bad, yeah. So say if you're like you stopped and you stopped really close to the curb, yeah, which you didn't. Your position was good for that road anyway. Um, so you don't need a signal, yeah. But if your position is really bad, mm -hmm. yeah, and you think, oh, the traffic behind you might think you're, you've pulled up, then yes, signal, okay. Yeah. So anything well, else? I know what one. I was. think there's a few bits where she didn't check her mirrors when she should. Yeah, mirrors. Most of the time they were good. Like uh, when we turn left from this road um, into the test centre road, you you didn't check your side mirror. Okay. Yeah, most of the time it was there, but sometimes on an odd few occasions you were signalling and then didn't you? Side mirrors after. Um, when she pulled up on the right hand side of the road, it was opposite a junction. Yeah. Again, it wouldn't be serious, but yes, it would be a driving fault. Mm. So we're looking at the serious. I'm pretty sure I went over 30 at least three times. It wasn't that much, but again, you did go over by about two, three miles an hour, and you realised. Okay. You were under a few times as well. You were talking about going slow in a 30, and we were in a 40 zone. <laughs> Yeah, that was. <laughs> Went past two signs. That, that, that's one <laughs> yeah. of that I marked down. It would be a, like, again, it wasn't for a long time, but still, yeah, yeah just your knowledge, because you were saying it yourself there. I didn't even ask you any questions, because obviously on the exam, the, the examiner it wouldn't feels ask really me. slow going 30, yeah. and you, yeah. you went past 240 signs. Yeah. <laughs> so doing 30 on a 40, yeah, could that yeah. be a serious fault? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because it was nice and clear. So that was one of them.
Okay. How could you tell it's uh, 40? Look for the signs. Yeah, yeah look for the signs more. And um, plus, it was quite clear it's a dual carriageway. Yeah. Yeah. How can you identify dual carriageway? Because there's a thing separating it. Good. And there's two lanes on that central reservation okay. in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Shall I tell you where the series falls were? Yeah. So, you know, when I asked you to turn. Well, I said we're going straight ahead of the round, but it's like a right turn, isn't oh, it? Then right I had my left lights. indicator on. Um, yeah, your left indicator on to come off, which is good. Yeah, and then I, I said we're going into the right hand lane. Mm -hmm. So I gave you the instruction quite early there, yeah? Okay. You had to go into the right hand lane, but before going into the right hand lane, yeah, so you did the roundabout well, mm -hmm. you came so off in the left. Either. Did you do your mirrors before going over? I don't think I did. You didn't indicate either. Yeah. So we, I was mainly concerned about your mirrors. The signal, I think it came on a bit afterwards, but there's no mirrors there for okay. the lane change. Okay. So that would have been a serious fault. It is a tricky situation, yeah. So that we give you the instructions <coughs> together there quite early. So that part and the emergency stop. So that scared me, I've never done one of them. Yeah, you said you never done one of them before, yeah, but your braking was really good. It wasn't like too soft, it wasn't like extra hard, it was mm -hmm. just right you, you stopped well there, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> after you stop in an emergency, so a real life emergency, child ran out in front of you. Hand yeah? brake. Okay. Secure the car and then when you move off, yeah. Remember we're not parked up like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you move off, where do you think you should look? That way. You did look that way. That mirror and that way. That's okay, you know, when you're parked up on the side. Yeah. Even when you're parked up, we teach you to check six. all around, yeah. But after an emergency stop, you're in the middle of the road, normal mm -hmm. driving position. Yeah. So you've got about a meter gap there. Mm -hmm. Could somebody come through this gap here? Yeah, so check so the box. Yeah. We didn't look around this side at all. Okay. So it's for the observations there. Okay? That would have been a series for the observations. But mm -hmm. like you said you never done it before. So it is a bit harsh, but it would be a full okay, a serious okay. one, yeah. Um, so those two, and the that one time when we stalled, when you said, "Oh, sorry, car," there's a car behind you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That one again. It does depend a lot on the examiner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your reaction wasn't bad. You didn't panic. You handled. Uh, you handled the car well. You restarted it. Yeah. But he was waiting there for a few seconds behind mm -hmm. us. So if there's no one behind us, it'd be absolutely fine. Mm. If someone is behind you, we look at how much. Well, how you affected them, how long they had to wait for you. Again, it wasn't that long, but that could go, could go down as a serious okay. fault, yeah. Okay. There were um, other stuff, nothing like that kept coming up again and again, the same thing, yeah. Okay. Your mirrors, to be careful with, with doing that all the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, other than that, um, the only thing that we haven't mentioned so far was your manoeuvre, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, like Dan said, you did park uh, park opposite a junction, yeah. Okay, and so you pulled up, and then when I asked you to reverse back, you said to me that when there's cars coming from behind, you should stop as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know the cars coming from behind is a nice wide road, wasn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. cars coming from ahead, yes, definitely, because we're on their side of the road. Yeah? Another one behind. These ones behind, unless they're trying to pull up behind you or turn somewhere, mm -hmm. yeah, do we really affect them? No. So you I think I've only done. I think have I done that one? I think I've only done that one once. And remember, you know when you do observe, yeah, to look out when you're reversing in a manoeuvre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you've got to show us, you know where to look when you reverse. Yeah. So where should your main observations be when you're reversing? Yeah, out the back window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show me to look out the back window. <laughs> That's it. There. Now we've got that neck twisting. Yeah. Where we're doing that on the manoeuvre. I think I was kind of doing yeah, that. Yeah. It was like over you're there. You're all over the place as well. Yeah. You're like Can't over there. You. This always causes arguments, you know, when, <laughs> when, <laughs> when the partners are assessing the driving. Yeah, so, um, so that observations, you got to be like actually checking that back window mm -hmm. physically. Not not this, yeah. not that side. Actually turn your head around. Okay. And the back. I had, like a few years ago, I had somebody failed the driving test. Cause that's the only thing they did. The examiner said they didn't look out that back window enough. Mm. Yeah. And felt a bit harsh but he was right he goes when you drive forward you look out of this screen don't you mm -hmm. yeah and when you when you're driving back or when you're reversing you should be looking out of that screen yeah so you get a good open view there okay yeah so but overall yeah because you're obviously you're you're driving your car regular as well yeah mm. okay the, the good thing was already you know the mistakes you made most of them yeah mm. you realized yeah you you did re realize one time you know when we were joining um the dual carriageway yeah yeah it wasn't actually a slip lane. You thought it was a slip lane, so you're doing observations, which is fine, yeah. But 
your lane will just lead yeah, you on to the left Yeah, I realised that when I got to the end of it. Yeah, and then which lane did you go into? Oh, it's the right one. You go into the right But your observations were there, and then... You, you affected it to be a proper slip yeah, road where you had yeah, to move over. Yeah, and, but then you did come back over to the left, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. If you stayed in the right, it would, it would be something serious. But again, you've assessed it all really well. Yeah. So we'll just keep keep doing what you're doing at the moment. You're less yeah. than a year instructor, practicing your car. I don't think you'll have any problem with your driving test. I'm just glad I didn't die at any roundabouts. <laughs> <laughs> your roundabouts were, were, were pretty good. Lane discipline, mirrors on roundabouts. You're counting the exits well. All good. I was trying to look for the sign before I got to the thing where you said what number it was. I think there was one where we were getting onto the dual car the, the 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 overpass, the dual carriageway. We had to go underneath it on an island, and he said second exit. You could have been in the left lane, but you were in the right lane, and you had to move over because you wasn't too sure which exit you were coming on as well. I noticed that. I wrote it down. Mm. I can't, to be honest, I can't even remember. See, I'll you didn't to, say it, so we didn't I, count. I'll have to. Well, I've seen everything, yeah, because <laughs> I've got it written down. But I'll have, have to um, obviously look back at it and um, I'll put it in the video anyway, yeah. Whatever there is, yeah, we'll see if Dan's right. Yeah. I've, done, I've done my one fail now, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, but that was, like I said, nobody passes a mock test. I'll be yeah. honest with you, I've never had anybody pass a mock test with me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but you came close. It was a really good drive. Like I said, you got a month until you test. You're driving your own car, you're having lessons regularly, yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, hopefully that helped you. Yes, thank yeah? you. And thanks a lot for doing the mock test. And guys, if you found that helpful, Remember, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.